Hello, this is Shoyan, a Japanese carpenter. Today, I'll process this curved decorated beam. I've kept this one for 5 years after cutting out from a log. I would like to shape this beam by chainsaw now. First, decide the shape of the beam. Mark on the timber a little long. This material is pine. It's a Japanese red pine. This material is not very long. It's 3 meters long. I'll make a beam using the portion called Akami. I'd like to make this beam look like a log. Actually, it's a straight material. So, I draw the curved line based on my imagination. Then, cut out the shape roughly by chainsaw. If the portion to be removed is too big and heavy, make a small cut at the bottom side first, before cutting full height of it. If you cut it only from the top side without that small cut of bottom side, this material may tear and cause a damage in the beam. Cut it along the marking. This time, it's a curved line. So, it cannot be cut by circular saw. It's dangerous due to kickback. Then, it's better to cut by chainsaw. It's still dangerous a little bit, but I think it makes sense. Rough cutting is completed. The next step is to adjust the shape by electric plane. This electric plane is only for logs. Its surface is warped to fit curved timbers. It's called Soridai, which is a special electric plane that is warped. After planing it by warped electric plane, finish the shape by straight electric plane. The four corners of the section of the beam should be made vertical. Otherwise, the finishing will look strange after fixing it at the position in building. It's difficult to finish the curved line by straight plane if you are not accustomed. Next, finish the surface as well. Keep the electric plane 40 to 50 degrees against the surface. Plane the top side as well. Top side is the portion that sticks out. So it's easy to finish it by electric plane. Plane the side surface as well. This electric plane is a little heavy, but it can plane 30 centimeters wide, which is the widest in this type of electric planes. It's like a handy type of automatic planes.
Now the shape is fine. Then start marking. First, draw a horizontal marking, thinking about how to fit this beam in the position. Draw a horizontal marking. This horizontal marking becomes a reference line. So next, draw the dimensions measuring from that line. Basically, marking should be drawn with Japanese ink, which is called sumi. But this time, marking is drawn after planing. So I draw the dimensions by ballpoint pen. It's not the right way, actually. Next. Cut out the unnecessary edge portion. This circular saw is the biggest one, which can cut 150mm deep at once. Cut the bottom side to be vertical. Then make Ari joints at the both ends of the beam. Column will stand on the top side of this beam. So draw a marking of the hole where the column joint will come. Okay, all marking has been done. Then start to cut off the beam. Before that, let me sharpen the blade of the chisel. First, make a hole where the column will be fixed. This chisel is called Kakunomi. This can make a 30mm square hole at once. I can make the hole by pulling this chisel down 3 times. This is an old machine, actually. Then, make the joints called Ari at the both ends. First one, I'd like to process it by manual saw. When cutting the top side, put the saw at 1mm outside from the marking. Turn the beam, and when cutting the bottom side, put the saw at 1mm inside of the marking. Then the cutting line is on the marking at the middle height. So the bottom is thinner than the top side by 4mm. After fixing this joint, that 4mm difference makes this joint sturdy.
Now, cutting Ari's shape is completed. This chisel is called Tsukinomi. Adjust the shape by this long chisel. And shape the edge to connect them easily. The column will fit at this position. So, make a 60mm hole. I'll process the same joint at the other end by circular saw. Change the angle of the blade of the circular saw. It's possible to cut out this joint from side at once. This time, I process the same joint at both ends by both manual saw and circular saw. A circular saw cannot cut out it as accurately as a manual saw, so it's necessary to adjust by chisel after a circular saw. So it takes as long time as cutting by manual saw. Cutting out it by manual saw may rather be faster. Okay, now whole of this work is completed. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. I'll finish this beam by plane later. I would appreciate you watching that video also.